Hi guys, today is Relax and Paint. So I want you to take a deep breath, blow it out and sit and watch the strokes I'm sharing with you today and figure out if it looks like something you, can, you might could do yourself, I know you can. So if you're out there saying, I can't even draw a stick figure, you don't have to be able to draw to be with me. I want you to know I show you simple strokes. And by the way, I started practice strokes on Fridays at lunch. So if you get a chance, come watch me teach you some strokes that you can practice. Do your homework and be ready to stroke better with me on Relax and Paints. I've been looking at glass some more and some fabric some more. So I'm going to be coming on with some more of that for you. So be watching. And if you subscribe, it'll pop up for you and you'll know when I'm going to be on. Okay. So let's do a bird's nest today. Okay. Thanks for joining me. I'm thrilled to be on here again this morning with you. And everybody's asleep. I turned on the lights bright in this room so you can see what we're doing. All right. So let's go. So we are going to get all ready. And there's two, a couple of things I do. I either use chalk, all right, and figure out where my bird's nest is going to be, or I can use a pencil. So you can see the lead. This is just on a nice pad that I bought at Michael's with a discount. So it's Carson. It's just a black drawing pad and it's kind of slick, so it's nice. It's for colored pencil, gel pens, and metallic. And guess what? And I paint acrylic on it. All right, so there we go. And I'm going to end up putting three eggs in here and it's going to come down in here. Okay, so it's just really simple. It's going to be fun. All right, so what I'm going to be doing, I should have my double loader here, but I am going to show you. You can use a foam plate. I make sure I do my double loaders in our practicing um, practice strokes so that you will know. I pat it out so it um, spreads out a little bit. So when I'm um, adding some colors in there that I can use some neutral colors or I can add a little bit of yellow ochre. All right, just or some tan, some coffee latte, just some different colors. Um, I'm going to use flat brushes. So I think if you've been watching me, I use flat brushes a lot. Either my dark green Donna Dewberry value pack or my signature brushes. All right, so we are going to, I'm trying to get brushes ready that are clean. So I, I look like I'm being professional and cleaning them well. All right. Are y'all ready to be in? I want you to think about, I've, I've taught you a little bird. Now I want you to see that I wet my brush first. I lay it on a paper towel and then I pick up two colors. So I can dip over here. I can side stroke. It's called side stroke next to the white. And I'm just on a foam plate. It can be on a glass plate. Other countries, I notice they use glass plates and, and it'll wash off of the glass if you wash it pretty quick because I'm using multi-surface, folk art multi-surface. And it has glass, metal, ceramic, all these different uh, surfaces, canvas, wood that you can paint with this. So it has a sealer in it. And so with a sealer in it, you don't want to leave it on the glass very long. So you can clean it off if you soak it off pretty quick. Okay, so I'm going to come in here and I'm going to base coat with my 12 flat. I loaded my 12 flat and I'm going to come in here and do an oval inside where I um, did that shape. And then I'm going to put dark brown in the front. Okay, so let me explain that. Because if you're looking at this, you can see the light back there, but down here, it's gonna be shadowed by the grapevine in front. Okay, does that make sense? All right, so I'm gonna come down a little bit more. All right, now I like the black because I thought it would pop so you could see better. 
I can also come in here with a little bit of that yellow ochre. And when birds go get the, the little branches and all, they get all kinds of colors of branches. All right, so I'm gonna lead with the white and come around a little bit and make some little strokes like this. Okay, so what these are, it's the chisel edge we're gonna be painting with this chisel. So I want you to see if I lead with the dark, it's gonna bring lighter colors, okay? If I lead with the white, whatever follows is the predominant color. So it's gonna be darker, all right? So see the darker, all right? Now what I wanna do is there's a couple ways to do bird's nest. I always kind of wander this around, all right, like this, and the bird kind of lays them and twists them in. It's hard to believe they can do that, isn't it? All right, to me, this could be like your meditation for the day. The most important thing I do when I meditate is think about all my blessings because it's very easy with this tough, we have the coronavirus going on, if you happen to be watching this when it's not going on someday. Um, and it's very stressful to see what's going on in the, in, our, in the US and other countries. And it's also tough to see that your kids can't go to school and there's all kinds of things that are happening. That makes me worry for my seven children and 29 grandbabies. But what I do do is put a lot of faith in my Heavenly Father because he's watching over us. He knows. He knows our concerns and he blesses us to take care of everything for us. When we pray and give it to him, right? Hi, are you having a good time? painting strokes with me. I want you to take a deep breath and relax. It's going to make your painting experience so much better. Relax. Okay. So see how I twisted it and winded it around and behind. All right. And then in the front, I can do some flat strokes like this. Okay. And then I can come in there and I'm going to keep going over here, guys, and get these colors and then blend the white into it. Now, this is the key. No water. I haven't needed medium. And I am, I've got lots of paint on here. Okay, so look what happens. I want wandering little sticks. It's like a little, they, some of the grapevines have these kind of sticks. And then I'm going to show you, or some of the re, um, bird's nests, all right, that they go and pick up some little twigs. But look, I also make one where I pull twigs like this all the way around. All right, and it's kind of a fun bird's nest too. I make the center. Okay, and it might be quicker for you, but see, I'm just going to come around and just figure that the bird's going to be very organized, right? It's going to come in here. So I pull back into here. And I can out some all right but that's just a different kind of bird's nest my sister had me come to her store and we looked at bird's nests for seagulls and for robins for even a magpie do you believe that and so um, there were all kinds of different ones so I just want to share now I'm going to use green sea for uh, one of the eggs, um, actually for the eggs. So you can use blue or, um, I'm having to open this up. 
because I don't as it have as much paint as I had in here. Okay, so now this is what we're gonna do. And before I put any more branches on here, I'm going to come here and do some eggs. So I'm going to shape this egg right here. And see how it, it shadows. I don't know if you can see how it shadows. I've got a glare on here. Now we're going to do another one. I think I need to make it a little bit bigger for the size nest I made. Okay. And then I'm going to have one overlap. Okay, I'm going to come in and put some more net, uh, some more of the twigs over this. But I want to have those in there first. Okay, so I'm going to bring it up so I think you can see it different. Ooh, that looks too bright. <laughs> All right. Well, I think when I shade this, it will look a little bit better. So I can decide to put a little bit of darker shading over this, but I can use a little bit of my brown. So look, so I can pick up the green C, I'm gonna look at it again, and see how I get the pretty brown. So, oops, it's a little bit too much brown. See, so that way you blend shade and highlight. Let's do a little bit more. So see, that one's definitely behind this one. All right, and then we're gonna come right in here. Okay, and I definitely want, after it dries, I come a shadow around here. But I'm just going to put a little bit there so you see. Okay. So what happens? Can you see that? A few little specks. So I can come in here and get some yellow ochre with my fan brush. My fan brush has got a flower handle because if you if you're not using the regular green brushes, my signature brushes do. All right, so I can add a little bit of brown in here. Okay, so let me show you how I spec this. All right, I'm going to take a brush handle and uh, I want you to flick this and put little spots. And it's okay if they go on your piece then. All right, so I'm going to shade this off so you can see it better. Uh, there we go. All right. So I am going to pick up a little bit more brown because I'm not seeing it. Okay. So let's put this up. I want to put it up so that there's not a glare on it. There we go. Little specks on the eggs. All right, so there we go. Can you see it? There. All right, now we're not through yet. Now, what we have to do is I'm going to take my liner brush. So we're going to take a script liner and I'm going to take the paint right here and I'm going to just grab a little bit of white and streak it to the brown and I'm going to bring little bits, oops I need some more white. Some little bits. Um, I'm going to put some moss too. So see, this is just a little inky. Inky is I put water. Oops. 
I put water and I stir it till it's inky. A little bit of white. And then it'll squiggle really easy on here. And you don't want it to be perfect. You just want little natural squiggles. You can have some of these coming from here too. Watch what I'm doing. I'm just barely tapping. But the specks, when you put the specks out from your painting, it really adds to it. So I can pick up heavier paint a little bit. Now watch this. I'm going to put it through the thick paint. My liner, it's number two, script liner. And then take it through white. And I'm going to bring some of these in front up over my eggs. Okay. All right, so isn't that looking fun? All right, now I'm going to take my little quarter inch scruffy. All right, it's a green handle or a flower handle. All right, so I am going to add, I'm going to take that green and then I'm going to put some sap green. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to tap in here a little bit. Because the, they, they stuff little leaves and, and uh, little bits of mossing into their little bird's nest. This scruffy brush you load it dry, and I'm loading it with sap on one end and the light green on the other end. Okay. And I'm just going to take and put some in the nest because it's kind of protecting the eggs. All right, so a little bit out here, a little bit. All right, and you can also just put some inside this little guy. Now I keep picking up green, keep picking up, there we go. So what do you think? I've got the light out of the way so we can see better. Now I can also add a few twigs that come out and I put some little leaves I get picked up some leaves when the bird was grabbing the branch all right so it looks a little bit natural when when you extend it so isn't that kind of fun so would you like to see a couple little leaves let's pick up my eight and I can pick up some sap I'm going to come right here and get some sap and brown, and just a little bit of that soft green that we did the eggs with. All right, so I'm going to put a little, I'm not pushing down, I'm just, and then I pull the stems. You can use your liner if you want to. I scrub and then I slide. And then I pull a stem in. That stem didn't show, so I'm going to grab that, pull it in. This is just a natural one. I've done it where it's got white eggs and it's all browns. I'll show you a project with that soon, okay? Now, practice this. If you have to leave out the house today, come back a little bit later, pull out some paints and paint with me. Isn't that fun? I know a little kid said, Miss Donna says, isn't that fun? <laughs> I didn't know how often I said it. So I think that that will enrich a wreath or at the bottom of a, of a flower arrangement or vase. So let's do a nest. All right.
and share. Come to Donna DeBerry's official one-stroke group on Facebook and share. Thank you. See you next time.